has torn the end like a black splash. Six years, his boss, and from this, for the need for them to crash, for need for them to go, so we have to divide. Because six years are boss. Okay, guys, let's talk about the plot against Sissy and Mercy. Um, I'm sorry about my last video. I know someone did complain that I was slow. Yes, I was slow in that video. I'm so sorry. I'm going to be faster in this one. Okay, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. So back to the stuff I said. Let's talk about the, the um, plot against Sissy and uh, Mercy by Cross so cross was in the kitchen area with neo and soma and they were having this plan according to cross he said this was a plan he had before he came into the house but the plan to him was to execute it from week nine week eight week nine so this particular plan we're gonna see it in play next week because next week is week eight week eight so he was like the plan is to make sure that cc and mercy clashes or the clash according to him um sissy is mercy's boss when it comes to fan base like sissy is mercy's boss in fan base so they need those two to clash he said he can't sit back and watch one person to win the, a certain person to win the money again that's not gonna happen so now if someone is plotting against someone if someone is saying people should clash what does that mean what does it mean like clash maybe bot head fight and they are looking for disqualification they are going for disqualification that's what i'm looking for. that's the only thing that comes to my mind like is it clash in a way like they are fighting they should come together and box themselves and fight or they should their fan base should clash i don't understand the clash he's talking about but from the way he sounded it's something that he wants to happen in the house because he was having this conversation with Soma and um Tuma and Neo and Tuma goes Mercy is very corny and for Mercy's fans what is your problem what is your problem you guys are attacking me in the next video I'm going to speak more of Mercy here I talk about every other person do you understand when I've been talking about other people you are cool so if you don't like it to the next channel sorry mm -hmm. okay so for 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 mercy um so Mercy said mercy is very very corny and that's what everyone is beginning to say in their house yesterday a diary session had took place adekule was on the started and he complained about mercy i know i did say something about someone said someone is controlling controlling the whole affairs of the house that was actually that was saying that mercy was doing that controlling kim Oprah went in there and complained about mercy um Benita went in there and complained about Mercy. Of course, Doyin has a re reservations towards towards Mercy. I'm talking about Mercy, but attacking me. Is everything okay? Is everything okay? Did I ask her to be corny? Did I ask her to be two-faced? Because she's obviously playing a two-faced game. Did I ask her to play that game? Please, a job. Uh -huh. Okay. So now, and you know why um Suma is holding on to the whole stuff? Not just this reason alone he has other reasons but he just gave this one you remember the very first week they got into the house that mercy tried to butt head but suma and then just help by going to lie about suma yes that was what he was holding on to and he said it's the way she casually dismissed everything after accepting like oh, I, don't, I just i just want you know she didn't do her she just sounded like it was just something you can just shift one corner it's, no, it's not a big deal trying to butt people's head is not a big deal and you cut you caused the problem a serious one between those two they were not in talking terms and you just acting like it's nothing no no and then he spoke about that and of course we know she's corny very corny two-faced two-faced that's the game she's playing i don't know if that's the way she is but that's the game she played the same game in her season and she's playing the game here i remember in um pepper them she would go and join the people the guy although she wasn't friends with um with Tatcha, she didn't really have a problem, but she would she was not carrying story about Tatcha, which, which we, we could not even verify. Oh, Tatcha smells. She would be like, I remember her, I remember when Messi went to the uh, locker area and was saying that she, a, a woman, a grown up woman does not shower at night or twice, does not shower. She smells. When did she start forming all this narrative? 
towards the end of the show because she realized that Thatcher is a strong contender and they've been saving her and she was confused and frustrated and didn't know how to boot her out. If you've been on this channel, I told you guys that I'll keep watching the show. Keep watching from week six. You will start seeing Messi's character. She's not week seven, we didn't know. You know, we wait for this seven to pass and to eight for it to get you see that that's that sissy she's talking to she's going to have a problem with sissy very soon because she hmm, i'll never know who messi is okay yeah that was the plan the plan is for the to make them to clash together clash i don't know how they won't clash i mean they go fight physical or they will, i think it's in the house like i said so i don't know the clash it's just for me to be patient enough to see the whole stuff because he said this is a plan that he had before coming and we have to wait i knew it was there so they're all excited they want to see the whole stuff play out so now let's talk about Suma and um, Angel's relationship. Something happened at the dining table. Yeah, something happened at the dining table. And um, Suma was having, and um, Angel got up and left. Suma and Angel were eating. According to what Suma told um, Alex about the whole thing, because everyone saw it like she was upset, she got up and left. So Alex, um, Suma was like, they were eating together and he told angel not to put the bone on the table or put it in her plate i think so and then when she was done eating he she kept the plate on the floor it was like i should put it on the table something of that nature he she got pissed and walked away it's not even <clears throat> it's not even the fact that she walked away it's what don't you said no was like hmm, no relationship stress they stress for past this relationship this boy they do nine to five job he did do nine to five white collar job and then she laughed then she now said i may she keep quiet to before um she go say before biggie now she go tell biggie say they don't know me you know when the fight starts now they'll be like these people don't know me you know how babe um what's her name don't you used to reek so she was like let her just keep quiet and mind her business and all that no relationship is stressful it's this relationship this boy they do nine to five jobs <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do 9 to 5 color, white color work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they make. <laughs> God, and then when they face me, I go to tell people that these people in this house, they don't know me. They don't know me. This so I think because of this, like I said, other people, were, other people were at the table, and this whole fight happened before the kitchen talk. Do you get? So I think because of that, Cross felt the need to advise Suma so after their plot because they were in the kitchen after their plot or why they were plotting kim opera came and took her drink because cross was in the kitchen making drink for kim opera and according to kim opera he was taking too long so she came and took her drink i think that was the reason why he, they had to end their plot or i think they had ended the plot and they were leaving the kitchen neo went to the went into one of those rooms while soma and cross walked away from the kitchen walking towards the garden and cross was like hmm, i promise you so ma i'll be there for you i'll be there for you i've got you he then said angel is angel like he was like there's something i want you to say but i'm not gonna say so i was like say it bro say it bro and then he was like angel is angel she is very smart and the smartest 23 years old lady i have ever known she's too smart and and she and you have to be equally smart with her or smarter than her she has taught me a lot of lessons in my season during my season it's either you have the best way to be the host of it's either you play dumb to make her review more about herself or just match her energy angel is playful and loving and then suma replied that i think he would go the, he would go play the dumb way I say wow, Angel. Um, this Angel, then it was not wrong. Wrong, anyways. This kind of relationship will be like, see, Nepal light off and on today. You did the next minute, it's not off. It's very stressful, draining emotionally. Of course, Angel is playing the game. That's how she plays her game. It's her gameplay, hundred percent her gameplay. So, guys, this is it. Um, let me just talk about the conversation they had about um Kim Opera. Yeah, Kim Oprah, um, Cross, and 
Pere. So some couple of people were in the blue room and this time around it was lights out. So we had Mercy, we heard Sissy, we heard um Neo. Neo was in bed by the, at that time. Yeah, I think these were the people in that room. I don't know if Alex was there also. also. Yeah. So they were talking Odoni was there. They were talking about the whole dynamics between those three and they were like oh um cross does everything for kim kim is kim is really enjoying cross asking what do you want i'll cook for you i'll cook breakfast i'll cook lunch i'll cook dinner and all that that kim is really enjoying on and they talk they spoke about perry that they don't even know what's happening between those ones like perry and what is perry doing with with kim opera and then they said when kim opera was making her hair because um because Venita made came up with her when she was making her hair, Perry was sitting down and waiting for the for her for the hair to get done. He even slept off in the process. That huh, this did not be smart, you know. And then Donny goes that she thinks Kimopra likes them because this was like she doesn't like any of them. She's playing the game, but Donny was like she thinks Kimopra likes them because Kimopra and um Cruz. Sorry, she thinks Kimo Kimopra likes Cross because Kimo Kimopra and Cross they share they share the bathroom together, they shower together and all that. So she was like, if she doesn't like her, she wouldn't want to do she wouldn't shower with the, with her with him and all that all the things they used to do together. Ah, me, I don't know. And let me talk about the drink. Cross had gone to make drink for Kimopra to cool the 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 beer, I be the Guinness, I think so. He was taking too long. That was why Kimopra went and went to the kitchen to take the drink herself. And then that was when that happened, Cross knew he needed to go to the garden to meet Kimopra. So the, the when he went to the garden to meet Kimopra, um the Perry was there. Cross Kimopra and Perry were having a conversation before Cross and Soma came. Immediately they got there, all of a sudden, Perry is sleeping. Or was acting like he was sleeping then kimopra was like ah perry can sleep for africa perry can sleep Pre- pretense perry wasn't sleeping you know she he wasn't sleeping just because cross came around so acting like he was sleeping i don't know what game those two are playing i'm even confused i try as much as possible not to put my head in these people's dynamics because i don't understand i don't understand anyways guys this is it let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think um cross cross's plan is what do you think he might do and wait what do you think he meant by clash is he physical clash or what let me know your thoughts in the comment section and definitely i'll see you guys in another video Bye bye